Uh, the wide view of what's going on, clouds just off to our northwest. So these are the clouds up in Pennsylvania that are producing those little spotty flurries and snow showers coming off the Great Lakes. But this isn't a really terrific setup for Great Lakes snows uh, at this stage of the game anyway, although some will develop in the next 24 hours. There is a front to the north of us. This is that little disturbance. It won't have enough energy to really kick off much activity here, but if you see a flurry tomorrow along with a couple of clouds, don't be surprised. It just won't be very significant, and the chances are not all that high. But what this disturbance will do is reinforce the cold air and allow uh, for at least 24 to 36 hours a real strong shot of cold air. I would want to say the strongest of the year so far, but we're only a couple of days in, so that's not really saying much. But if you go back uh, into December, yes, this is uh, going to be a significant chilling. So tonight, mostly clear, near seasonal cold with lows in the low 20s, and then we just won't recover all that much tomorrow. So that's the start of the cold air. 23 to 27, the overnight low. Instant weather future cast shows some of these clouds moving through, uh, and a couple of these clouds may have a flurry or two in them, but most of the activity, and it'll be scattered, will be out in the mountains uh, to the west. For the skiers, though, they can make snow with these temperatures. And there will be bay effect clouds and maybe a few flurries to our south, according to the uh, computer models. Uh, during the day tomorrow and tomorrow evening. But all in all, uh, the essentially dry weather will continue for much of the week next week. So tomorrow's forecast, a few scattered clouds may pop, breezy and cold, a slight flurry chance, highs only 33 to 38 degrees. And for boaters in the bay, small craft advisories will be out, winds gusting to 30 with a three-foot chop on the open waters of the bay. Here's that shot of cold air coming in, just a brief one as the jet stream takes a momentary dip before it rises again to the north. Here's our instant weather seven day forecast. Again, 30s tonight, or tomorrow rather, for the high, and then 16 for the Tuesday morning low, with a high only around freezing. 19 to start Wednesday, but back into the 40s. Rain chances develop by late Friday.